So at Bullock, we started to encounter environments that we needed to perform disaster recovery for that were at much larger scale than what we had done when we first launched our disaster recovery service. And that led us to the invention of something we call recovery waves. So recovery waves allow you to break a recovery tier into multiple sub-tiers and figure out what applications to recover first. That wave has been recovered, you go to the second wave, the third wave, and it sort of breaks that tier down to digestible pieces. Recovery waves have to be folded into your disaster recovery runbook or playbook as well, because ultimately the order of operations described in that book should line up with the priority of the waves that you're going to use to recover the environment. So again, if you have 200 applications and you break them into sub waves of 50 or so, the recovery playbook will address those in chunks of 50. The big difference is that in the playbook, it'll actually open and close each wave as a chapter. So the teams will agree, we're done with wave one, everything's been communicated, everyone has bought in, quality assurance has validated the environment. Now we're going to begin, really it's step one, but in wave two, and until wave two is completely finished, you don't go to wave three. And that's all described in the playbook. Recovery waves benefit the business from two perspectives. One is, um, it's almost impossible to deal with several hundred applications being thrown at you at once. And if they all don't magically work somehow, which invariably they won't, it's really challenging to figure out if you're the IT team or if you're the business, which ones to work on first. So deciding on what's in wave one, what's in wave two, what's in wave three, and so on beforehand gives you some priority and precedence and focus in terms of which applications to focus on at the beginning. It also enables you to have a conversation with the business so that they can give you input about what they believe the, the priority should be in recovering those applications in different waves. And then obviously if there is an event, I guess this is a bonus thing, um, you can communicate back to the business the order in which their applications are going to come back. 